I'm Chris Daughters of the Caddisfly and uh, Trout Unlimited and Eugene. We're really excited about all the support that we've had uh, for returning the Mackenzie to uh, its wild self. Uh, the reducing and removing of hatchery fish will undoubtedly improve the fishery um, that we have. We've seen it above uh, the stocking section, we've seen it below the stocking section. Um, we want to uh, make those hatchery trout more available to anglers um, within the valley. Uh, we do not want to, to uh, eradicate those fish. We want to make them more available uh, in a safer environment. Uh, and like to see the Mackenzie uh, become uh, what, it, what it was uh, long ago, you know, with more wild fish, more wild salmon, uh, more wild trout. Uh, we'd like to see uh, ODFW get behind um, to the stop of stocking fish over healthy populations that exist currently. So look, hatchery trout, you're going to be surprised for this, are great. They're great in waters that won't support a great native wild blue river, uh, blue ribbon or almost blue ribbon fishery. You know, we've got 250 waters that might be good for a hatchery trout around here, but the Mackenzie River isn't one of them. Hi, I'm Jim Turborg. I'm a professor in the College of Business here at the U of O and I live on the Mackenzie River by Blue River. And I support native fish on the Mackenzie. And there's a, a book called Good to Great and the author Jim Collins talks about when you're trying to make change, there's a concept of the flywheel. And it's real hard to get it going at first. You have to keep at it and keep at it and keep at it and the flywheel builds its own momentum. And what I'm seeing is in the last 20 years is the momentum towards hatchery fish is changing, the flywheel has stopped, and it's starting to move more towards native fish, preserving the native fish in the rivers that can support native fish. So we can't stop now, we've got to keep pushing that flywheel until we preserve native fish on the Mackenzie. I would, I would just like to uh, mention to people that not only are the red sides a unique fish, but I'd like to remind everyone on uh, just how the unique the Mackenzie River is itself. Um, it's one of the longest, coldest rivers on this side uh, of the Cascades. Um, it has many unique features from top to bottom. Um, the fact that we're dumping plastic fish in it is a sin. That's wild fish or hatchery fish? Wild. Hi, I'm Scott Kinney. I'm right, sitting here today at the Caddisfly writing postcards to uh, ODFW members and other important representatives of government, both local and statewide. Um, I'm interested in the issue here because uh, in, in my interpretation, uh, the results we're getting out of the McKenzie Stocking Program are very, very poor in serving both anglers uh, and taxpayers. Stocking 140,000 of them and getting very, very few returned to anglers. You know, it's about a 15% return to the creel and that, that to me is just unconscionably bad. Um, we should be aspiring to a much greater, greater return for our hatchery programs to better serve uh, Oregon and Oregon's taxpayers. <laughs> Why? Oh, oh where, where do you think these fish should go? Uh, where do I think these fish should go? Um, I put them here in town, you know, local ponds, neighborhood fisheries, um, Fall Creek, Dexter Reservoir. Uh, we can see returns of 60 plus percent uh, on these hatchery fish. Um, that was suggested to me by our local biologist. Um, I think we can do a lot better with what we have. This is Monica Mullen. Um, I'm a member of Trout Unlimited and uh, we're here writing postcards to try to protect the native red side population in the Mackenzie. Um, I feel that it's critical, it's, it's absolutely critical for these, uh, these populations to be protected. Everyone keeps going over, we need to protect these, we need to stock these rivers for the kids to be able to fish. And I think it's critical that we do protect the, the native populations for the kids to fish. There's no reason why these kids cannot fish for a native fish. Um, when are we going to teach our kids to take care of the, the native populations to be good stewards for our fish? We need to teach them from the start. It's about time that the state of Oregon stopped putting hatchery programs on top of healthy wild populations and that's what this movement is all about and that's what we're fighting for. It's not just about 30 plus miles of river. This is about how Oregon manages their fisheries. 
we have some of the last great wild fisheries in, in the world and the best way we can preserve those is to keep them wild and get the hatchery fish out of there. And we love kids. We want kids to catch all the ha catchable trout that they want, but there's other places they can do it without degrading the Mackenzie. Wild Mackenzie.